simple but effective method. If you want to learn how to do overwintering without so much complicated steps, watch this full video. Look at this plan. Uh, a single plan produced more than 500 chilies. We were so happy. We had a uh, really good produce this season, 2022. So first step to do overwintering, as you know, you can keep the chili plant up to five years. First step is to uh, harvest all of these chilies from your chili plants and then trim out all those stem, all the four um, that you don't necessarily need because obviously the plant will go to hibernation process. Plant doesn't need uh, much of those uh, leaves or a stem. The people think if you cut all of these uh, stuff, uh, you're killing the plants. Not really, because um, plant doesn't need those uh, stuff anymore um, during the winter months. I've seen with that trimming, some people take the plant indoor, full plant with stem and leaves. Uh, you run into problem later stage with all those um, fungus and disease and uh, all the bugs. So uh, I think it's not ideal to take the plants indoor with all the leaves and stem. Now take out all those compost or soil that uh, your plant had throughout the season um, there is so much chance there from those compost and soil in the plant as disease and fungus so take them out properly some people also they will wash the root system like whole roots they will wash it uh, properly <laughs> take all this stuff out i don't it's just extra step extra work i don't really do that um see i'm taking out all those uh, compost properly as much as i can without hurting um the plant and trimming out all those excess long uh, roots that um, I, I, it's not going to fit in my two liter plant pot I'm using very small plant pot because I have very limited amount of space. You don't necessarily need big plant pot. A small one will do the same um, job because plant doesn't need to uh, thrive uh, in an uh, indoor environment. It just needs to stay there alive. This is all you need. As you can see, I'm mixing one uh, uh, roughly 5 ml of neem oil in one liter of water, mixing and dissolving properly. Um, uh, and I will spray it in the plant to kill all those bacteria, the bugs, disease, anything. And this is the best way to kill all those stuff uh, naturally without using any pesticides. Um, so do make sure you use uh, neem oil is the best way to get rid of all those stuff. Also, even later stage in the um, winter month, uh, indoor, you will have all these bugs coming again in your plant when plant uh, start releasing those uh, stem and leaves. Do make sure you spray neem oil every other week if you can to avoid all those um, bugs and stuff. Plant went through a dramatic change in plant life, so to reduce the impact and the shock the plant going through i'm um, using epsom salt mixing those epsom salt in the compost i'm using multi-purpose compost you don't have to go through any other types of soil or compost normal all-purpose compost will do the job but try to get organic if you can i use mine organic multi-purpose compost after getting the compost ready, I'm spraying neem oil in the pot just to make sure there is no disease or bug in the pot so that I don't run into issues down the line. Uh, this is it. This is how I do it. It's simple as, it's simple as that. Harvest your naga chili, cut all the stems and leaves, get rid of all the stuff, um, buy multipurpose compost from any garden centre, add Epsom salt water in the compost and then add your plant in the small pot. I'm using two liter pot, uh, obviously clear out the pot properly so you don't want to take all those <laughs> uh, excess stuff indoor and also spray the neem oil as much as you can to get rid of all those bugs and disease. Um, this is the natural way you can do without using any pesticides. After just few simple steps, my plant is ready to go indoor. I will keep it in the windowsill and also will water once a week no feed plant doesn't need any feed if you feed the plant during the winter month you will kill the plant because plant will go to hibernation process and this is the result you're seeing 
just after four weeks of overwintering. You still have time today, 28th of November, 2022. If you have chili plants, do make sure you overwinter to get best result next season. Hopefully by March and April, I'll be able to harvest from this plant. Thank you. Stay tuned and subscribe.